Hello, Maria LaQuesta here with a short video introducing the Essential Planner, a detailed yet flexible agenda I designed to accommodate my evolving task management system. Today I'm going to show you the Essential Planner in action as I walk you through my own planner and my project notebook. The worksheets were designed to fit in a 5.5 by 8.5 inch binder. They're also compatible with A5 binders as well. Here's a view of my own planner. I divide it up into five sections. Goals, projects, work, home, and blog. In the front, I have envelopes and plastic sleeves to act as my dashboard or my inbox. I keep notes and reference materials in the work, home, and blog sections. In the projects sections, I organize materials for projects away from the computer. And in the goals section, I keep all of my calendar pages and my goal setting worksheets. For me, it's really important to have the current month's view as a reference as I'm planning out my week. So I like to keep all my monthly pages on the left and my weekly pages on the right. To find the current week, I use this handy tab at the top. You'll notice this is a perpetual or an undated calendar. That means I add dates as I go along. This is the system that works really well for me because it means I can start using these pages at any time and there's no excuse not to sit down and get organized. Next, I wanna show you my project notebook, which is also divided into five sections. On the side, the colored tabs organize all of my projects into different categories. And I use a disc bound notebook so that I can keep all of my papers organized and easily move things around. In the front, I keep my daily worksheet which is probably my favorite page in the Essential Planner. At the top, there's a small box to write down the week number. This was really handy when I was still dividing my project life album by weeks. Next to that is a box to write in the date and at the top to circle the day of the week. Underneath is the task box, which I reserve for priority items that need to get done that day. The back burner is a place where I can write down ideas I want to revisit at a later time, and there's also a small section underneath for notes. The schedule box is a timeline of my day broken down into half hour increments. On the left is a space to write down the time, and on the right are small boxes to check off tasks or appointments that I pencil in for the day. And underneath is a box for habits, or daily recurring tasks. The top section tracks water consumption, and underneath there's an AM and a PM icon denoting morning and evening chores that need to be done. Next to those are a series of icons that I use as a visual reminder for different habits that I'm trying to form. And behind my daily worksheet, I usually keep a running list of tasks that need to be done. On the left-hand side is a space to prioritize each task, and on the right-hand side, there are small boxes to check them off as they get completed. There's also a column next to the boxes for time tracking. And lastly, I wanna go over my project worksheets. First, I have my project index, which helps me keep track of all of my projects in one glance. On the left-hand side, there are small boxes to write down a project number. And on the right-hand side, there's a space for the project name. I use this as a table of contents to keep track of all of the different projects I have going on. Next is the project outline. At the top, there's a space for the project number and the name that corresponds with the project index. In the next section, there are fields for all of the project details. It's geared toward client-based work, but I use these project sheets for all sorts of things. I can use them for blog posts or even for adding new product to the shop. In the next area, there's a space to track project deliverables along with corresponding due dates, and below that, a space to track all of the different tasks that need to get completed for each project. This list extends all the way to the back side of the page. These six forms make up the Essential Planner, and they help me keep track of appointments, manage my time, and organize all of my projects.